Have you ever heard of the ancient practice of fattening room? Well, this is common among the ethnic people of Cross River State, South South Nigeria, where young women are kept from their companions, societal interactions for a period of time, and prepared for womanhood. Kelly Agiga brings us this story from Calabar. This is Ikwamma Edet Ekwayong, and it's her big day as the wait is almost over. Minute by minute, the traditional makeup artist with her magic fingers spearheads the transformative process of the maiden and bride to be. this part of the world, traditional rulers are pivotal to such engagement and so we visit the palace of the village head of Ikodekaidem in Calabar municipality, His Royal Highness Reverend Dr. Efiomita Eyo Efiom Okogo. The walls of the palace is to give our viewers a historical significance of the age-long tradition of fattening room. The word fattening room does not exist in our culture. Nkuko is a proper name. It is the colonizers, the Europeans, the English, who gave that fattening room because of what they saw. That culture of Nkuko is to seclude a female child for a period of time. And there are two periods that can be done in that girl's life. The first is done when she's about maybe three years old. Then the next one is when she begins her menstrual cycle. And with the practice gradually waning down, there is a message for parents, leaders and elders. That culture cannot be eliminated. It has been played down. But here in this our village, we've said that it has to come back as an academy where a female child would be educated in the aspect of being a mother and a homemaker, a homekeeper. And then comes the bride. Oh, 